Close your eyes. Go ahead. Really close them. Feel your eyelids touch and take in a slow, deep breath. Now let it out. What we're about to embark on is a journey through time, through adversity, but most importantly, through words. Words can be both daggers and salves, often simultaneously. And today's story starts with a phrase that used to sting like salt on an open wound. Like a girl. Oh man, if phrases could kill, this one would be a serial offender back in the schoolyard days. Picture it. The shouts, the finger pointing, and those three damning words. You throw like a girl. You run like a girl. You know, it's as if doing anything like a girl was the most criminal offense a young boy could commit. And that phrase, it had this weird power, right? It could turn even the most innocent schoolyard activity into a stage for gender politics. Let's not sugarcoat it. Back then, being tagged with that phrase felt like walking around with a scarlet letter. Especially when you were the kid who was a little softer around the edges. A little more sensitive than the so-called average boy. It's like those words echoed down school hallways, whispered in lunchrooms, and found their way into every corner of youth, like that gum that gets stuck on your shoe and just won't go away. Yeah, life was like a constant sitcom laugh track, except nobody was laughing inside. Now what's wild is that during this time there was already a tussle going on with identity. A battle to fit into a rigid box that society says, Hey, this is what you should be because, well, you were born this way. The struggle was real, and every joke, every whispered insult was like a little stab to the heart. See, there's this feeling you get when you drag your feet through the front door, drop your backpack, and just let the tears flow. You wonder, what's so bad about being like a girl anyway? After all, when the outside world turned cold, where did solace come from? Right there, among the pages of books, among stories of epic quests and triumphs. That's when things start clicking. The heroines in those stories, badass, smart, resourceful, brave, all the things you aspire to be. And it wasn't just fiction, okay? The reality, moms, aunts, teachers, they were real life superheroes. These were the women who raised families, juggled careers, and basically made the world spin on its axis. The contrast was glaring. If these women were what, like a girl, represented, then wasn't that phrase completely misunderstood? Turns out, changing how you see something is a Herculean task, kind of like turning the Titanic away from that iceberg, but it was a challenge worth taking on. Why? Because damn it, being like a girl means resilience, compassion, strength. It means being a freaking rock star at handling life's curveballs. Enter the transformative years, the twenties, when society started waking up. Conversations about gender norms and identity, everywhere. It's like the phrase, like a girl, had started shedding its snakeskin. It emerged not as a weakened, derogatory term, but as something full of substance and value. And here's the kicker, as this new decade of life rolled in, something amazing happened. Acceptance, but not just of the phrase, but also of personal sexuality, identity, and all that jazz. Yeah, being like a girl didn't just lose its sting. It became a badge of pride, a testament to the strength that comes from just being yourself. So let's fast forward to now, where those three words, like a girl, are no longer a mark of shame, but a seal of honor. It's a phrase that serves as a shield against a world quick to judge and categorize. Every challenge faced, every obstacle overcome, is another reminder that if this is what it means to live like a girl, then hell yes, that's something to be proud of. Life's tapestry is woven from countless threads, of experiences, of lessons, but most importantly of transformation. Words like, like a girl, once considered an insult, 
have been reclaimed as a powerful affirmation, a testament to the resilience, the courage, the indomitable spirit of individuals, regardless of gender. The point. Labels don't define us. We define the labels. So the next time you hear, like a girl, let it bring a smile to your face. Let it remind you of the power, the beauty, and the resilience that those words truly represent.